Every time, isn't it? Every single time. This is this song has come up a couple of times, and every single time I just go like straight into it. Oh, jeez. So, uh, yeah. Hello to people who are currently uh, joining the stream. I don't know my. I don't know how often the stats update on my end, so I don't know if anyone is actually viewing at this very second, unless you're watching back on YouTube, in which case uh, you get to hear something that no one else will hear. You're very special. I love you. And to all the Twitch people uh, who may or may not hear this, I love you too. <laughs> that's that's good fun. Um. Yeah, guess what game I'm playing today? Exactly. It's the same game I've been playing for the past eight weeks straight, and I'm enjoying it. Kind of. We'll see how far I get. Uh, so where is the game? There we go. We have a sun that appears to be golden, I believe so. That seems to be the working theory. Uh, I'm up to 10, which means, oh gosh, I got a lot of experience. Lost thing. Uh, oh boy, yeah. Okay, so, from what I remember last time, this was in the other place. As in, sorry, as in like this, was, this seemed to be in the other dungeon, but it's a different dungeon. Uh, and I can obviously tell what's happening here, so let's just move that one over, and I think I can just push it. Uh, is that what they intend? This also, like, mildly looks like there's a... Oops, not carry. Uh, this mildly looks like there could be a reveal here. But there doesn't. So all I've done is I've just awkwardly cast move, I guess. So. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Oh. Pull it down a little bit. Oh, now he moves into himself. There we go. That seems a little too general for what I was expecting as a puzzle, but sure, I'll take it. Uh, what's the odds? What's the odds that it was there? No, it's not there. Okay. Alright, maybe I'll make that pillar appear. Uh, is this a push onto the thing? I was waiting for something to show up. Here it is. Ooh, that's that's a bit nasty. I I was like, I got my laptop out and I noticed very, very small like critter. Like really small. Like um like imagine an ant, it's probably the size of like an ant uh, antenna. Like really, really tiny. Crawling across my screen. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and like poke it, flick it off. And it, uh, yeah, just uh, vaporize underneath the strength of my finger. So, uh, sorry, Ant Antenna. Uh, I'm gonna need Dows. Is Dows enough? It is. Cool. Good thing this puzzle is reasonably clear. I can understand what is happening in it. Uh, I'm gonna say down is the way of... I'm gonna say the other way is the way of the secret. Uh, hello. Oh, jeez. Look at this guy! So, uh, on the topic of Blendo looking up uh, things that maybe he should or should not look up ahead of time, uh, one of the things is how many gin am I missing? 
And as it turns out, I'm missing a single one. But I'm not too sure where exactly I'm even meant to, like, get to it. So, it just kind of mentions there's a place called Crossbone Isle. An optional secret dungeon-style location in Golden Sun that is the game's super dungeon containing very difficult stuff. Also including the most powerful monster in the game, and I'm looking at it going, really? Like, I guess, granted. You know. I've been finding this game a little on the easy side. Not too easy, but just a bit easy. Really helps when the enemies don't absolutely take down your health. Uh, your guess is as good as mine what's going on here, by the way. Maybe I catch it. Nope. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Alright, so what's happening here? This looks like... I got a theory. I've got a theory. So theory is, you gotta move it down, just follow the track. Because it does need to be at that end. But here, here's the theory. So now, I need to douse it. Simple enough. Nothing too weird happening there. Okay, and now, I freeze it. Maybe I freeze it up here, because it's like a puddle at this point. So I'm thinking that's what I'm doing, because then, now I have something that's two blocks tall. Nice. Cool. speak to my soul, does that mean I have to speak to their soul? By using the mind read? Violet shines southeast of me. Violet sh shines southeast of me. Yellow shines northeast of me. Red shines northwest of me. Red shines due west of me. Ah. Oh, it shines southeast of me. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we've got five places here, we've got five statues. I'm not too sure what the other statue was, but... Uh, I guess we'll just, we'll just try and figure this out. So, okay, so... Violet shines southeast of me, so that kind of implies that this is along... Well, this is either in the center or the top left. This also implies that it's in the center or the top left. Which means, Violet must be... Uh, can I push these? Yeah. So Violet must be the very southeast. Process of elimination here. This is, this is Sudoku in action. Yeah, okay. So now... Yellow shines northeast of me. So that would mean green is in the bottom left. Because we've got two things that have to be in the top left and the center, so this must be sitting underneath here. This one, I'm going to say by elimination, like red shines due west, so this will be up here. There we go, and then I guess yellow would be in the center, because red is due west. At least they don't have encounters here. Good on them. So 
So, yeah, I guess I'll consider that super dungeon. We'll see what's going on. There we go, good puzzle. Um, but I also would like to kind of play this a bit naturally, like... I guess knowing that I've missed things or not, but... Uh, I feel like these enemies kind of kick my butt if I'm trying to do melee attacks all the time. Like, 77 damage is actually a fair bit. 85, fair bit. So, maybe I do need to consider some, some armor. We'll see. I haven't done any grinding. You guys have seen this whole, this whole thing so far, so. L Lucid Prophecy, oh boy. Does that just mean he's sleeping? I guess. So, um, so, yeah, I guess, what is general topic of the, the day? Um, I don't really have too much of a topic. I feel like nothing, uh, hugely news-wise has happened in the last, um, week. I guess there's, like, the general things, I keep mentioning, like, the same rough topics every week of, uh, GPUs, uh, you know, um, me playing racing game. I'm nearly at the end of Project Gotham Racing. It's it's definitely been, um, actually I feel like I am done. Like, I haven't gotten gold in every challenge, but some of the in some of the challenges are just like so, so darn rough. Uh, where did this go? Oh, this looks familiar. This looks familiar. Where was this? I've forgotten exactly, like, I, I remember coming here, I just don't remember, like, where this actually exited to. Was this, like, way earlier? As in, like, I left this place and then walked up, and then now I'm just back here? Sure, I guess. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, no, I've definitely been, been enjoying the Project Gotham Racing. It's the same game. But, you know, yeah, it's it's good fun. Uh, I've kept my meme of I've now lost access to come back here. Nice. Should I consider that crossbone aisle? Maybe I should, considering I just got yeeted out. Ah, uh, let's find it. Let's find it. Um, but no, yeah. No, yeah. It's been pretty good. Uh, I don't really know how much, like, to really describe, uh, driving games. It's, it's definitely one where it's just, I seem to enjoy them. They're nice, nice and casual. You can kind of get in and out of them. Uh, and depending on the driving game, it's like, there's a reasonable amount of, like, yeah, I'm doing something skill-worthy, which I kind of appreciate. Uh, Oh, the one game that I can safely say, you know, minus the skill worthiness, and I'm going to be crucified for saying this one. Uh, I have recently been grinding my butt off in old school RuneScape. I've now reached the point where it's like I I can afford a member's bond. I don't remember this guy being here. Sure, cool. Wait, why is everyone dead? All oh no, they were always dead. Uh, I was thinking maybe I'd change the statue the other way and then see what happens in the, the place when I come back. That's probably uh, something I can do. Um, but no, yeah, old school RuneScape. So, uh, for those who slightly uninitiated, I used to, like, play the free-to-play part of old school RuneScape a ton way back when. They've added in a few, like, nice-to-haves. Uh, not too many since I stopped playing, like, 2007, 2008. Um, although I guess I probably didn't play the game that much, considering if I'm at that point now, then what was I doing before? It seems that, like, if you really know, like, how to gain experience to just kind of speed your way to, like, you know, to the point that you can 
you know, start earning money at a reasonable rate. It seems like it's a... Uh, it's not too bad. So the trick I found was, um, you need to up your combat level a fair bit. Um, you know, be comfortable wielding rune items. But then there's a surprising, like, amount of money to be had in, uh... I mean, mining is the, the easy one, because it's like, oh, everyone needs armor in that game. But, um... It's interesting that, uh, iron, like, something that only requires level 15 mining, it's really low. But it's, uh, yeah, no, the mining ores seems to be reasonably valuable. And not just mining the ores, smelting the ores. Uh, so you can turn them into bars. And that sells for a reasonable amount of money, given that you're a free-to-play guy grinding a fair bit. On top of that, it's... Uh, if you're dropping the ores, it becomes the quickest way to kind of earn uh, mining experience. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that. It took a few days. It took quite a number of days. You'd be kind of working your way. And then, uh, I've completely forgotten, like, where? Like, even the, the ledge, the, like, oh, I remembered. Oh, maybe it was out the front. Uh, might have been out the front. I've, I've forgotten the layout entirely. Uh. Nice. Nice. Gotta keep fighting these guys all the time, I know, right? Um. So, that seemed to be the strategy. Over time, I'd gradually earn enough, uh, in-game money to, you know, buy your, your rune pick, like the thing is to speed up the process necessarily. A bond uh, is basically, so RuneScape's model is it's a monthly subscription model, but they also have a feature called bonds where you can buy, um, it's, it's not monthly, it's for some reason it's a fortnightly, uh, or like it gives you 14 days of access to the members world, uh, price adjusted to some degree, but you buy it as an item. So as in, you buy it for real money, you now have an item that you can gift to people uh, for in-game currency, effectively. Because, like, people will trade gold for that. And I'm like, that's a neat concept. Yeah, actually. Uh, and it's not here, dang it. God damn, where was it? Is that a dog barking outside? Maybe. Um... So, you gradually work your way, you're doing your iron, and then you realize that there's, like, there's two things that you can actually mine, uh, or I guess three things, like, and, and, and this is, this is, uh, like, let me just describe all the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of obstacle rooms yet. So, number one, uh, getting told that members can do things while you're trying to do them yourself, uh, as a free-to-play person. Like, it's... I understand, it's like, oh, okay, members, like, you know, can do more stuff, like, obviously, you gotta fund your game somehow. But, like, usually how MMOs... after RuneScape, I guess, that's, that's the interesting bit, is that it's old. Like, but games that I've noticed afterwards, what they do is that you play the dense, early game free-to-play stuff, and then, like, they introduce the more members mechanics. RuneScape's a bit weird, because it seems like the, at least for mining, the whole progression is already there. In fact, smithing is a perfect example. There's, like, you unlock rune plate body at level 99. If you're a member, there's better things than rune plate body, but, like, you don't smith them. Or at least if you do smith them, you smith them earlier than level 99. It's, it's like, what is it there for? So this puts me outside here and... Oh, this had a this had a reveal right here, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could go up here. And then I had to read mine on that, didn't I? Yeah. Um. So yeah. So the trouble with me mining in this game, and never mind as well that literally mining is click a rock. Uh, you eventually will mine the ore, and then rinse and repeat when the rock. Uh, turns back into a color, uh, iron rocks would do it almost immediately. It's, I think it's like three seconds from like when you finish mining the, the rock to when 
uh, and aura is available again. Um, so if you have two rocks, it's just like, yeah, you've basically got like no downtime. I think three rocks is literally no downtime, no matter what you do. Um, but uh, the other limitation with RuneScape, and this is an intentional one, but it's a very annoying one, is that you can only carry 28 items and almost nothing stacks. Uh, what did I do to do this? It was reveal. That's the one. So that's what I wanted to do, by the way. I just wanted to change that to that. What exactly does that even, like, indicate? Is that, like, the series of rooms that I go into? Because, like, I then to the north side and then I travel south? Perhaps. Um, so yeah, RuneScape, 28, item limit. Uh, that means you mine a bit and then you go, now I gotta go to a bank to drop it off. Or I sell it immediately. Um, there exists a mode called, uh, is it like, Ultimate Iron Man or something like that. And the whole point is that, like, you can't use banks. And I'm like, how does anyone have the patience to play this game without banks? And also without trading with other players. So not only, like, can you not, like, do anything, but also, sorry, not not only like do you have to do everything yourself, you can't hold on to anything, and it just seems like it's a bit of a weird way to play the game. Sure, so, back to mining, so you got your low inventory size, you mine a bit, you gotta drop it off at a bank, you mine a bit, drop it off at a bank, that's your rinse and repeat cycle. Iron seems to be the quickest way to do stuff, because coal takes forever to mine, and then you get gold, and gold takes forever to mine, and then you can get mithril, and mithril takes forever to mine, and then you get to uh, adamantite, and adamantite still takes forever to mine, but it makes a profit in doing so. The ores are worth more, like, per hour than the iron stuff will. Never mind also that the iron, uh, iron is in this weird boat where, like, smelting it seems to be worth more than the ores themselves. Point is, is that, like, at that point, from level 15 to 70, the level 15 method of earning ores and earning, earning experience is the quickest way to do so. And there's nothing that you can really do to speed that up. It's just, it's just time. Gradually over time, I guess, I think the higher your, uh, your mining level, the fast, the less likely an ore is going to take like a second go to like mine. Um, yeah, no, I'll just continue, actually. We'll save the, the thingy for later. Um, uh, but, yeah, like, you just gotta go for it. Eventually, you reach Adamant's Idol War, and eventually, like, then, okay, now you're making larger bank. You're, you're at least making, like, something. So, because each, each ore is, like, a little shy of a thousand gold each, that means... Okay, we got like 5,000 gold total, or sorry, 5,000, like, adamantite each, which equates to about, like, 200 inventories, but, you know, it's, you can, you can grind that. It's, it's at least achievable. Like, I think I've been playing, I've been playing since it went free to play on Steam. Um, and I'm just gonna look up when it actually came out on Steam. Uh... Old school RuneScape, the 22nd of February, so I guess it's been a month, but that's a month from scratch. Um, so, yeah, so you, you reach that point. Now, there's, here's point number whatever, like, uh, there's only so many quests that they give to the free-to-play players, and that's because that the area you're in as a free-to-play player is relatively much smaller than it is in the, the rest of the game. Uh, and that's that's intentional. But what uh, what I realized was that uh, the quests themselves a little uninteresting. Like, they've got this, you know, more general, like, fantasy vibe going on. You got, like, your wizards and your swordsmen and your, your, uh, no one's an archer in the game. Like, I don't think I've seen a single person who primarily states that they arch. 
but you get like, you know, your townsfolk and all that stuff. Uh, and then weird monsters. That seems to be the gist of, of everything. The quests themselves are oddly like a little uh, modern to some extent. Like, as in a character is doing a thing that's like... Uh, oh, do I have to tell? Oh, I got to reveal. Nice. Um, like, I, I've, I've done a few of the members' quests now, and I'm like, man, this is, like, kind of the same boat. Like, literally one character was like, hey, you need to get this magical orb for us. So I'm like, okay. So I wander around, I kill a few, few, you know, people to get the orbs, and then I come back, and this guy, who I know nothing about in, in the game, just goes, it's awful. While you were gone, this guy came over and murdered my wife, my children, and all my town's guys. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't know you. It's it's a little bizarre, and and one where I don't think that the world is particularly engaging. I appreciate that now. This is different. So now I'm going a different route. Um, but it's definitely one where I don't know. Like I. Like, I feel like I'm playing the, the quests to gain quest favors and experience and all that stuff. And, and in fact, the quests are, once you reach, well actually, the quests in general are like great ways to earn a bit of experience. And in, in terms of the members stuff, well, it unlocks fairly amounts of like, guy doesn't, you know, allow you to go on his boat until you get like so many you know until you do his quest or something like that like there's stuff like that which i think is neat but uh i'm curious what the means to the end is like i mean the combat itself hasn't quite engaged me i've constantly been just going i'm left not i'm not even left clicking i left click a guy to auto attack him and then uh you know, I might eat some food to not die. I'm just kind of rolling the dice to see that I don't die from it. The worst part is that, like, I'm usually pretty, you know, on the nose about a game being old and kind of, you know, everyone's been influenced by it. Is that two freaking, freaking things? Okay. Um, yeah, I uh, generally, like, I can see, and in fact, I can kind of see where, like, games take their inspirations from, from RuneScape. I think I gotta drop this left one. And now I gotta awkwardly go back, because there's no jump. And wheel it around the whole way. Nice. Darn track on the ground, I tell ya. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I think I will continue trying to play it for, I guess, another... I only got the members stuff yesterday, so I guess it would have to be another 13 days uh, well, I'll, where I'll have access to this. But this is one where I used to play, yeah, the free-to-play part as a kid. I'd never pay money, and I was curious. I think it's because, like, it's a subscription model, and uh, I uh, never really was a big fan of the subscription stuff. Um, but it, it, it felt like, uh, and I know it's like, well, you can stop paying at any point if you feel bored. It's, it's a bit bizarre, and it kind of feels like it is a, a time sink grind game. What is happening here? Uh, no, yeah, what is happening here? Oh, yep. I forgot. This is the, uh... Which one's this one? This is... Carry. Nice. Thank you, game. Uh, here we go. 
up. Oh, I think I see what it is. So I'm, I'm probably going to use carry on this one. Which doesn't move it. Because it's already lowered. Or maybe it does. Okay. I was expecting it to, like, not go any lower. And then it's like, oh, but I put the other one on. And then it's, you know, it weighs the correct amount. Or rather, it's still off offloaded on the side. Um, uh, but... Yeah, yeah, it, I, it's a bit weird to me because I guess I've lost that nostalgia feeling. I've definitely kind of gone, yeah, like, I don't have any relation to the member stuff. Okay, what is, what is this? I'm, what is happening here, by the way? This, these g -g 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 gargoyles. And all right. You gotta watch out for those gargoyles. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's an odd one, um, I'm not really too sure how to, how to really think about it, but I guess it's one where, you know, at least, at least, like, I have experienced the member stuff now, to some extent, I feel like it's probably been a bit soon, I'm not particularly leveled in the skills, I've mostly been focusing on quests, so I guess I've got my, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, Listening to it. I still don't know what's going on here, man. Did you just reveal this or like. Oh! Ooh. Who's HP recovery? Well, guess who can equip that, but. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I, I'd imagine someone of my audience is most likely an active RuneScape player. Um, and this is, this is purely old school, but, yeah, it's, it's one, I can't really, I can't really summarize it too much. It's just like, it's that long... I wouldn't even say grindy, because like, I'm starting to do like, quests and stuff. It's not 100% like, grindy per se, but it's definitely one where like, oh, the walking, the walking takes forever. I'd imagine there's things I could do to start like fast traveling, but for the moment, I don't have high magic and I don't have like any teleports or whatever, like any other forms of teleport. The best I've got is that like I talk to a boat and the boat may take me to a very different spot, but sometimes it's usually just it's a different continent like transport so yeah I don't know I don't know did you really get freaking like muted nice I don't know why Garrett's popping it really hard okay now Mia's popping it really hard nice guy's about to, to take it. There we go. So you're not still affected by the, the condition, are you? No. Alright, so take two, coming back in here. Okay, what part of you said you weren't, like, sick? You both got venomed? You didn't tell me? Tiss, tiss, come on, guys. Uh, there we go, cure poison. Ding, ding. Okay, got it. I'm here in water. That is definitely urine. I'm, I'm looking at that wall going... No. Really. You've got three different wall textures there, and none of them are indicating that there's something hidden behind there. Wow. That's crazy. 
Uh, yeah. Here's a question that uh, two people have asked me in the past week. What am I doing after Golden Sun? And to that, I'm rather, uh, I don't quite know myself. I started, you know, playing the games that I knew I had played terribly in the past. Uh, so I was thinking, as in, I tried Let's Playing them and it didn't end up working out. Um, as in, I never had finished them or I played them horribly. Uh, so I thought, well, the immediate one was Cruising USA, because that was the first game that I had played on the channel. And, uh, then I played the Mario Lands, and is that... Is that a secret hidey hole? Um... But, yeah, no, the, um... Ah, gosh, jeez. These enemies are really, like, taking it harsh, aren't they? Uh, so is this, is this a halt? Or is this, like, uh, is this a reveal? Or is this a freeze? I'm not too sure which one's which. Okay, well, it turns out to be none of the above. Uh... But yeah, so I, I've done that, i played the Mario Lands, um... Uh, nice. Um, and then I was like, this game, in particular. Now, I'm glad that I've played all of these games, but I've also felt, man, you know, this is a longer game. This is definitely one... Oh my gosh. The heck? What happened, by the way? I'm like breezing through the game and then suddenly like here is enemy that can just casually like pop me onto one health. Maybe I should be using magic? I don't know. This is a new one to me. This one I'm not learning the mechanics. Oh my gosh, this guy's got, got health. Uh, nice, and then I've spent the rest of my turn trying to attack that. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a handful of other games that I know I do want to play inevitably. Um, I feel like the Wario Lands, um, all of them I played, uh, rather terribly. I abused all the emulator, save states, all that stuff. Um, the other game, uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 was one. The thing with Donkey Kong Country is that I actually did play it uh, on my own normally later. Um, so I guess that would be more of a replay for me. Um, and then the last one would be like Earthbound. I think everything else... Ooh. Why did I equip that? That sounds like a deal though, apart from your agility. Unless his agility was always trash, in which case... Okay. Uh... <laughs> which one is the door? Let us see. Uh, none of them. Nice. Uh... You know, on the one hand, I wouldn't want to fight these. Oh, that guy again, but on the other hand, I'm like, you know, I think I need, like, the experience in fighting these enemies. How much health has he got? It's got quite a fair bit, doesn't it? And I forgot! These are the suicide enemies. Oh, I actually got one. Nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> 690, gang. Woo. I feel like I'm about to burn me as, uh, 
experience. Okay, I'm looking at this going... Not too sure what's going on here, so... Maybe I fall down? Oh, boy. More enemies. Who would have expected there'd be enemies in here? Uh, so, yeah, I... But I don't particularly want to play, like, more uh, RPG. So I feel like Earthbound is probably going to be one where I'll hold it off for a bit. Um... And then, uh, what was the other one? It was, um, yeah, Donkey Kong Country, Warrior Lands. I'm feeling pretty, like, set at that point. There's some other ones where, like, I definitely can replay them. Uh, I have one in mind that I probably will be playing next just because I know it's a shorter one and it's a, it's a classic of mine. Um, so, you know. <laughs> Like, I guess, on this... Yeah, am I supposed to just fall down the slope? No, that drops me off here. Okay, okay. Uh... Da -da. So, yeah, I'm... I guess there's probably a few other games I would like to play, but... That seems to be... Uh, we got the C. There we go. Um, that seems to be, like, the... The... Short-term, I guess, like, things... Or games that I wanted to play on this channel. But I would like to continue doing this. I am enjoying kind of just, like, playing for a, for a bit on Mondays. Even if I seem like I'm a little... Uh, confused on what to say right now. That guy gives just as much good experience. What? Ah, oh, you can't go over here. Okay. I'm curious if we can turn the sand onto the other side. Somehow. It would make sense if it's coming from this direction. Uh. Ah. He's the king of mandibles, right here. No one else is the king. I, I love how, like, <laughs> it's a slightly bizarre thing to say, like, it's, it's the, uh, animal king. And then simultaneously we've got, like, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, t That's a great name, by the way. Adding king to the name of, like, any kind of animal. It's just like, ooh. Maybe it is the ruler? I mean, it was, like, the, you know, the, the dominant, like, I mean, wasn't it? The Tyrannosaurus Rex for when it existed in the, uh, the, uh, is it a Jurassic kind of period animal? Um, it definitely was one that I don't think was as destroyed. I guess, I guess like a, you know, I can, I can imagine some animals might have just gone like, yeah, I'm gonna like, let's try and whack you down. I think like the Stegosaurus was just like, Evolved just so it wouldn't be in by Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, they have a monarchy. Um, dude, don't. Oh. Would that mean that there's a Tyrannosaurus Regina? Yeah. Oh, there's a queen as well. Dude, what if, like, some dinosaurs would have, like, actual, like, hierarchies of some kind? They were smart enough to know, like, you know, who who is where. 
You know, who's the labra? The vegetarians are the labras. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm now just back in this room. I'm trying to figure out, like, where exactly this goes. Oh, gosh. War of Attrition, I'm gonna lose all my, uh... All my magic in one fell swoop. How about you defend? I'm actually defending for once. Oh gosh. Yeah, tie it all me, just saw like freaking bind and was like, yep, bird. Just a hundred percent what it what it said. Uh Okay, I'm curious what bind actually does do, because it it makes it seem like it's it's killed off me trying to use abilities. Okay, so I can use I can use these abilities because they're not on the person who was binded, and then the moment someone tries using an ability. It was blocked. Okay, so the game is just mean and it lets me attempt to use it without necessarily being able to use it. Got it. Cool. Thanks, game. This game's rather brutal in some aspects. It just it's just like, oh yes, yeah, so you wanna attack an enemy but you kill them already? Too bad. You wanna use a spell but you're binded? Too bad. We'll let you try and do it. Sure. I'm amazed it doesn't have like confusion. Like as in your teammates can What is going on there? Why does he just deal all, all, all but one damage? That's just mean. Except that's not one damage, that's two ones. I can't even see right now. There you go. There we go. I was thinking like I remember going through these and then like another dungeon. And that was that was how. Okay. Oh gosh, which way do you go? Right. There you go. Uh we got more bombs. That's always a good sign. That's always a good sign. Nice. Mm, he kept it on the download just then. Oh, okay, cool. Uh Gosh, what is going on there? I'm actually concerned that suddenly, like, we have a dungeon that's gonna drain all my peepee -pee before I'm actually ready to to finish it. Because here he comes. Here he comes again. He's, he's just absolutely wrecking everyone. Jeez. Or am I underleveled? Well, maybe not anymore. I... Uh huh. Is this like a finish the track kind of deal? Is that the mechanic they're presenting? Okay, finish the track. Got it. Oh, I'm back in this room. Ah! So that's kind of nice, because that kind of appears like it's a, a checkpoint of some variety. Oh! Ooh, there's three of them this time. Oh boy. Uh, why have they done this to me? Can I go back out and just keep getting the um the the one crystal? Alright, one of them is gonna like blow up on me. No, none of them are, none of them are going for it. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Got it, okay. Yeah, no, nah, Mia is definitely gonna want like a elixir sometime. Maybe I should have bought some elixirs. Here's a question that I am going to shortly find out the answer to. How much gold am I actually earning? Because I've never considered like the 
you know, the enemy economy in this game. Because, like, that's the, that's the typical thing, is that, like, if you're struggling to get through an area in an RPG, sometimes the advantage is just to have some more items. Um, so, 700 coins? I don't know the cost of the items off the top of my head, so... Uh, that reference point's a bit gone, but... I'd say that, like, yeah, if 700 coins and a few encounters is actually okay... Sure, that is the worst place to prompt me on a battle. Uh... Quake Sphere, it's... A, it, they're not even spherical, like, ground things. They're just cubic. I thought I was hearing some crazy noises outside. This is this is sign number one that I'm losing my mind when I keep going like, hmm, I, I think I hear noises all the time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going crazy, I guess. Or I have some very, very discreet, silent audio. I just don't hear it. Uh, I'm gonna cool Isaac on attacking things like that. Cause he needs that PP. He gets it back. He's getting it back in battles, which is really nice, but... Yeah, this game is suddenly like really trying to, like, crush me on the mechanics a bit. Oh, okay. Uh... I can't reach that. Alright, what's going on here? someone next door. I'm not going crazy. Wow! Well, uh, to the next door neighbor. Hello. How you doing? Uh, um, I apologize for me yelling every time I play Rocket League. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is these noises? What is this? Is this like a house party? I don't know. It's out in the corner of my like ear. I can't. I can't actually discern like what it is. But uh, I'm going to ditch this encounter. But I'm not going to ditch it because the game is like, yeah, nah. You, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna get wrecked really hard. Can I not run? Okay, now I can run. Jeez. Turning to this room, nice. Oh boy, uh, what am I looking at? Okay, we've got a horizontal, uh, right down, and yep, got it. Cool. What's the one game? The one, like, pipe game? Pipe Dream? Is that the one? This is, like, all my years of doing Pipe Dream are paying off. Because that just, like, clicked in my head immediately. Unless I need both of those, in which case, done. I'd imagine I just need one, right? Yeah, one sounds fine. Alright, we just got one big guy. One big guy. That's it. Nice and easy. 
No risk. Uh, what's in here? Dragon scales. Uh, well, that'd be good defense on. Yeah, I'm going with that. Isaac's the important character in this story. He needs it. Uh, I'm just gonna double check that there wasn't another room that I just walked past. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, enemies. Just like, ah, oh, yes. Let's just let's just ambush. Nice. Now all I need is some armor for everyone else. It's very frustrating that, like, only, like, Isaac and, and Garrett are able to, to equip most of the armor that I seem to be coming across. I don't know, it just feels like, yeah, I'm unable to find, like, they just keep getting the freaking, like, um, not even the, the, um, like, the scraps. Like, I keep getting, like, you know, these great, tremendous, you know, armor stuff that, yeah, like, can't be equipped on them. You gotta spread the load out. Or just level up, that works too. Yeah. Uh, so that was this staircase? Where does this go? Okay, well, I'm glad that settled that. And then, did this go down at all? No. These are some slightly different enemies. Cool. It must be like people upstairs. I don't know what's going on, I swear. Things just happen. Things just happen in my freaking apartment building. It's just crazy. Seven? It's not even like poison, it's just like it's a curse, isn't it? Yeah, 107, what? And then he maintains being venom cursed. Well, the, the venom rather, the curse is from. Specifically, he needs like healing. Nice. Okay. So it seems like I can go back and solve a puzzle. So this looks like almost the same thing that I just did, and that looks like it's a way to get back. Got it. So, but yeah, th is, does this not look like the exact same thing that I did just slightly before, where I put the thing on the, the button and it slides it up? Unless, this is the theoretical one that I was mentioning. Where I will try and push this down, and it doesn't go anywhere, but then if I put the third block on the right one, the left side is still heavier. No, no, my theoretical puzzle is still theoretical. I'll never know. So pressing this just moves this across and reveals a sand slide. Okay. So now that's a another pathway available there. And I guess there's not really a, a way to get back. Uh, well, I've definitely got a lot more magic on everyone who's not Mia. We'll just take Mia, like, like usual, you know, the usual. Uh, yeah, do I have any other topics in the world? Not particularly. I think it's been a, a pretty, just, like, quiet or so. There's the curse again, wow. That's crazy, that is crazy that, like, the curse exists and then just, like, 
you're taking so much damage. And the worst part is that I feel like I need to do a heal first before I can actually, like, safely, you know, take the rest. Although I guess the scouts are set and that guy might not have too much health. I guess I can do Cure Poison on that, can't I? Okay, well, no Cure Poison there. Uh, also, I guess tending towards... 100 experience, uh, that, sorry, 1,000 experience of battle. Um, yeah. Okay, so, continuing on down the slide. Stairs. One of these encounters, one of these. I think this glacier actually did a lot of damage, so I am gonna like stick with it on these battles. Quake Sphere doesn't do as much damage as I really think it should, so maybe I'll hold off on doing that. But no, Glacier does all the damage, so. And now we just got this golem, this wonderful golem. He just sits here and deals 148 damage in a single go. That's just mean, that's really mean. Okay, uh, <laughs> My bets are it's left. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Can I strike on it? No. Okay, so then I go down, and that's gonna take me up and around. Got it. Cool. So if I go down, then right, then up. Gaia Blade. Woo! Oh, jeez. You know, as much as Isaac's already got the higher attack, I'm also thinking like that's even higher. Can Garrett equip the axe? It's not as strong. I think that's just because Isaac's a better attacker. Jeez, that's a that's a strong item. Maybe that'll help me while I melee everyone. I'm thinking maybe up is uh, something. Oh, maybe not. Alright, uh, so how about Isaac just attacks and then I can use magic on at least these two. And we'll see how much damage Isaac does by just attacking. 220. Wow. That's, that's, that's the numbers. Yeah, I, I, I've reached this point where it's like, yeah, this is definitely numbers going up as I keep doing more things. Um, I guess this is a bit of a curious thing to me because usually when I play games, I actually like really kind of binge them quite a bit. Like I try playing them uh, like really quick. And in fact, like Project Gotham Racing was a great example of a game where it's like, I think I've been playing it for like two weeks stops, but the fact that I've been like playing it a bit every day, as opposed to a bit every every week. Um, and that's not to say that I haven't been enjoying doing it every week, but it's definitely like when it's a longer game that you play every week, and it's not as clear, like, I guess like how you're progressing, um, it's an interesting one. I guess a lot of people when they play games on stream, they maybe they do it just when they get bored, or they do longer sessions. I think like Proton John does like, I don't know how many streams he does a week for game clearing, but then he'll do like five or six hours. So like, you know, like a first time playthrough of Metroid Prime probably would have taken me like 12, two hour days to do so, but it took him five days, I think. All right, so we got a straight, uh, a down right, a left down and an up right. Okay, so if I had to go well, I guess the straight has to be used at the bottom. That just doesn't seem like a, a question there. Uh, if I continue going left, I would need the, the, the rightmost one. 
then I would need to somehow go across. So that's not happening. So I have to go right. In which case, then I'd have the vertical one on the right. I get a choice between going left or right here. And I think the answer is to go left. So let's start getting these out. I'm thinking that this just goes right here. Oh. And then let's pull this out. Because yeah, there's, there's two spots where you need like a horizontal one and you just don't have it, so that kind of singles that feature out. I will say, I've enjoyed like these overworld puzzles. They're kind of neat. And the slow pushing of the thing. Uh, push that bit over. What if you put one? I assume it's just stuck, and then you'd have to probably exit the room and come back in. Because um, there's been a few like log pushing ones where it's like you can get them soft locked, and you have to just exit the room. go. Oh, good. So now, this button now reveals another, another slide. So I assume that's the final, uh, does branch evaluation. Exactly. Oh gosh, what's going on here? I guess you might uh, save at that point. I am not too sure what's happening there, but sure. Is it? Mmm. Let's get rid of this boulder beast. That's a crazy amount of damage that that sword does. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I should consider, I guess, like a uh, classic JRPG thing where it's like you start min-maxing a little bit, like you look at what equipment is the best for your situation, um, or like your, your setup, but I don't know, I feel like kind of just continuing to, to take things as they go right now, because after a while the experience starts to settle in and I'm able to take the fights as I want them, like just by using melee and not having to use all my magic. Everywhere. Oh, I guess I can't really go up, but I can definitely go down here, yeah, that's where I came from. Uh, how is this comparing with other JRPGs I've played? It's definitely um, a little more... I'd say it's a little more dungeon repetitive. It definitely feels like there's only so many things that they can really do to make the dungeons interesting. And I think the story is... A little bit here and there, I think the dialogue's a bit too short to, and it's, it doesn't really develop on too many, like, characters that I've noticed, but, uh, now that definitely looks like I'm about to experience something. So, let's see, okay, everyone's healed. That 100% looks like that's, that's leading to somewhere. Nice! Nice! <laughs> Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. I did save that. I did save that. So let's uh, soft reset that. When it's easier to freaking soft reset than to... Except it saves you how long it takes for an enemy to appear, doesn't it? Yeah. But does it save the fact that I can run away? No, it does. Really? I want to test that one more time. I want to see, like, if... Uh... If, um, the running away is, like, fixed. That seems kind of brutal, like, the running away. Well, three out of three I seem to be unable to do it, so... Alright, we'll just 
Different enemy encounter though on the uh, the first go. All right, well, let's just take. And I'm caught by surprise on this one, so even even better. How about now? Wow. Okay. I'm I'm curious what like what these random mechanics even are like you know. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be chucked into it. I'm caught by surprise again. I mean, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, what's going on there? I always find it's interesting when these games, like, do something to prevent, like, saves coming up. Because, like... What do you do? I guess you can kind of just pre-bake as many values as you can think of. I'm trying to think of like another game that does that. I remember um, a classic one uh, is Fallout New Vegas has a casino thing, but because you can quick save, like it's very easy to just quick save before you lose money and then like just go all out and then see if you win any. And then they made it so if you load a save, you can't go into the casino for a minute, and you can't enter a slot machine minigame for a minute. Which is not that much, really. And the odds are so in your favor. Alright, give me a boss. Ooh. Ah. To remain. That's the only one that remains, okay. Okay, so why is, he, why is he doing? I was really a triple traitor. Wait. Right, so they lied. The villains lied. You gonna tell me that the villains are? actually bad people and don't have any morals whatsoever? This guy is very accepting of the, the villain's demands as well. I'm taking Shiva to the ship. Gaslighting right there. You cannot stop us. They're really going at it. Looks like they're having another falling out. Sure, I guess. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Take forever to come across via the platforms. Alright, if no one notices that we're here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You've come to stop us. Okay. You can watch. Or you can help. That works too. You can you can help. No, maybe. Deal. Do you remember the rod connect? Oh my gosh. Yee.
okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Just say it like that. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know the terms we were required before we agree not to harm Sh Shiva? No, I don't know the terms. I want the rod that will get us into the Jupiter Lighthouse. If you give us the Shaman's rod, Shiva will not be harmed. Agreed? No. No agreement. What a cheeky bugger, he's got you there with a little bit of blackmail, despite the fact that he was just going to let her go anyway. Okay. Keep it safe. Nice deal. The guy's going to be like, I didn't say when. <laughs> what, what is this? It's like, ah, I changed the terms at the last second. You agreed to the fake term, like... What is this, like, half diplomacy? It's not even like you want them to succeed anyway. Like, you're like, oh, like, I guess I give him the rod. I don't even know, man. This seems a bit bizarre. Alright, now we're in a fight against these two. Uh, see, I could use the gin. I might, I might go kind of subtle with the gin. We'll do it for defense. Uh... Yeah, I might I might go like two two levels on the the gin. But I'm not gonna go like too deep into it. Uh, who's who's gonna deal more damage? I'm thinking Nadi's here gonna, gonna deal more damage. Ooh, okay. I mean that's a bit of damage to everyone, but. I'd prefer a bit of damage to everyone now that I've got like heal alls. I guess the thing is that I've got two enemies to deal with. It's definitely a bit of damage, but it's not like... It's not an absolute butt ton. Uh, and this is a... yeah, this is a fizz moment right here. One for the vine. Disco Inferno. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of just kind of going in soft and easy with, with, uh... Did I only use one? What did I do last time? Okay. Uh, yeah, go on with one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can go with that. And I'm gonna continue... No, I'm gonna give you a wish well. I think we all need a wish well on that one. There you go, that's a bit of damage. It feels a bit too risky to like use all your gin in like one fell swoop. Because it's kind of like you, you lose all your stat buffs by then. Ah, I bet you why? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Really? It, we're gonna we're gonna do this, are we? We're gonna can't believe it. Uh, I'll go with the right. Uh, 
We're gonna have the insta-kill attack. How nice. Why is he bad? Oh, that's the curse! I'm slowly regretting that decision. Slowly. Uh, I feel like I could just go in with a regular attack. Um, both of that, and then you can just go... Oh, you've got a really good attack here, apparently. Uh, and then... We'll go with that. So this should do. 188, that's pretty okay. And how much health do, do these guys have? That didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I expected. Uh, Alright, strength is returning normal. Got it. Got some stats coming back. Cool. Uh, I can play the floor. I feel like I should just keep going. Because he's doing enough damage. Whereas, like... Yeah, I could go a little more... Um, assistive on this. Uh, and I can stop him from doing anything dumb. And stop you from dealing as much damage, maybe. Is that just a regular jump attack? Nice. Alright, that's a bit of damage. Alright, that's... Yeah, that's something to be slightly concerned about. Okay. Uh, I think it'd be safe just to cast a potent cure on, on myself and just go for it. Block damage to the party. That just seems like really nice on that. Uh. And we'll restore some party HP while we're at it. Alright, that... This is just buff turn. This is buff turn. Alright, so now I should have... Uh, a bit of ability to cast some gin on some people. Uh, just keep going on that. Keep trying it until it works. Definitely a fair bit of damage. 276 sounds like a fair bit. It's just... Yeah, how much health do these guys have? Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh... I'll go with a flint. Um... This is definitely a wish well kind of situation here. Ooh, there goes one. There goes one. Nice. Alright, so now, how much health does this guy have? I've been kind of hitting him as I go, but kind of hitting him. So maybe I should just play Jin Defensive now. All my Jinn son uh, no, all of them or something. Uh. Thirteen damage? Jeez. Oh, that's a bit mean on, on Ivan. I think you have to use Jin to really deal damage against him. Or magic of some kind, but that... Yeah, jeez. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
plasma. I didn't do that much damage. I my strength hasn't really changed since the last turn. I don't know what he's attempting to do there. 135. Yeah, it's not as much damage. It's definitely not as much. Uh, do I have anything that can at least? I might I might try <laughs> try something here? Penetrate the fence? Maybe that's what I want. Attack twice, like Veil of Foe, Seal of Foe, Paralyze of Foe, maybe Seal of Foe, and Freeze of Foe. Yeah. I think all, I think all of these are chances of dropping the stat though. Oh, becoming unable to move is definitely what I want. And dropping defense. And is that just going to do a lot of damage? 87? Okay. Uh, and I guess now I've just got like... One thingies, but that's okay. There we go, 131 is a bit okay for a one, one gin attack. I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good. And he, he's back into attacking immediately. Nice. Good on him. Don't let the man keep you down. And also don't let, uh... Yeah, don't let Garrett just be stuck every single time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with a uh, with a uh, tornado on that one. Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. He's definitely taking a bit of, a bit of his time. What do you do now? You just keep going at it? Just give him a volcano? I don't have anything that's like particularly amazing. Like, I mean, this looks like it should do okay. It's 18 PP, but... It doesn't really do a remarkable amount of damage. I think you get, you get a fair bit just by going in with a gust. Uh, let's try and lull him to sleep. Oh, or we could just go. Sweet. Cool. That was easier than some of the fights. Felix, what are you doing? Can we have the rod back? You gonna... Mmm. Mmm. Uh-oh. What have they got up their sleeves? You can barely stand. This! Uh... What? Wait, so they were standing up here... ...all this time, and only now did they do that. Uh, it's not anymore! <laughs> ah. Jeez. Okay, I absolutely hate that. I absolutely hate the idea of, like, we've got the four elements, but some of the elements are kind of like the other elements. So, <laughs> so you can kind of do whatever. You can't fight them alone. Oh. It's a 2D world. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's the answer.
I'll take Sheba. Ooh. They're glowing. Oh, you gotta watch out when people start glowing against you. Refuse to get <laughs> What is this? Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, so what's the plan? What's the game plan? Uh. Let's go for that earthen barrier. Go for a flash. Ah. And let's drop his attack. This guy's big, bro. I think I'm gonna stick with the, the two gen kind of strat. That seems to be working out because it gives me the ability to kind of like just kind of hold off rather than really dip all my stats. What is he gonna do now? Oh, but there's a spirit thing. Uh, so this is a Ramsey situation, and you can still do something. Uh, I'm gonna go with a Corona Mountain on that one. Uh, and Atlanta, and I'm curious about that. That spirit thing, so I'm I'm thinking curing the elements is probably the best thing. 384. 409. Out of space. Out of space. Space. Excuse me. Ah what? Ooh. He can use it twice! You can use it twice! Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Uh, I'm gonna hope that the timing works out. Okay. The timing looks like it works. GG Ivan, G. Also, uh, yeah, um, note how my revive didn't revive. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. And he's using it again! Oh no, this is... This is... This is a fight. Uh... I guess I can actually just cast revive, how about that? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me on that. You've got to be kidding me. There you go, Ivan. You're back. Jeez. Maybe you have to lose the first time? I don't know, man. Oh, we've got the evil blessings coming back. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go with a sap on that one. Uh, I'm going with a flash again. Flash seems to be doing me good. And then... Let's boost that resistance and I'm just going to fly well here. If they, if they intend for you to die, I feel like they'd definitely... Um, you know, start making the insta-kills a bit too more brutal. Right now it seems to just be like, Ivan's coughing it really hard. Except for that attack. That attack seems to be pretty mild. I think it's because, um, Garrett's got a thingy. I love that, uh, that, um, disruptive wave kind of attack as well, where it's just like, oh, all your buffs, see ya, they're gone. Uh, you do something else. Uh, seal is synergy. I feel like I go with the paralysis on this one, and then uh, yeah, let's just got a safe turn here. 
Uh, that is if Ivan doesn't cop it from a double attack. Yeah, that Karen's not doing as, as much damage as I like it to. Uh, an evil spirit grips me up. Alright, so yeah, at this point, now I'm like, okay, I'll do a, a potent cure. Uh, it's probably, actually, potent's probably a bit overkill. <laughs> cure well, uh, and then he's just doing, doing the do. So I guess just continue on uh, with Corona. Uh, you're going to probably use Atlanta, and I will get you to use uh, that's off limits for the moment. Nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Ready three damage. Nice. Break. Nice. Thank you, game. Is he just attacking once a turn now? I'll take it. But oh, that's what the evil spirit does. It just deals some damage over time. I wonder if that, like, compounds, so, like, that'll get worse and worse over time. Uh, she needs to... No, she doesn't have to summon at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm thinking let's get Isaac doing something fun now, so... Let's... Let's go for Flint and... Penetrate that defense. Uh... Stack twice next round, and I go with a simple ply well here. Alright, we're back with evil blessings. Severe block. That, that wasn't as severe as I was expecting, to be honest. I guess I might use... I'll go with a potent cure. Uh... Yeah, okay. That flash seems to be actually really nice, jeez. Uh, now you can do two attacks this turn. Uh, so I'm curious if going with a gust and then... Yeah, you can't summon it. Oh, someone in the comments like one or two freaking like weeks ago was basically like, oh, if you use an ability, you can then, like, cast the synergy based on it, and then it's like, no, I can't right now. Like, I actually can't. I've got the one Jin set up already, but that's not the one. So, and it says here, cannot use the same Jinny twice. So, it hasn't thought I've used it yet, so I can't just expect to use it right away. Um, but I'm definitely thinking... Give me a breeze, call me the breeze, and now let's heal those ailments. Garrett is just not gonna try. Alright, Garrett really is copping it, but that's okay. Uh I'm kinda gonna continue going going in with uh we'll go with a granite uh you're just going to use flash uh you can I use proc me and I will get get healed up flash is just so good because now he's going to deal like four damage on all of these like attacks yeah jeez so is that like a one turn like very new to the, the damage, it seems like it, yeah. I think the dodge is just, just a nice touch. Uh, Ramses, uh, Kieran, uh... I think I'll cool it for a turn, just let, let one of the gins come back. Uh, and then... Alright. 35, that's really not that much compared to the Jin. I wonder if the Jin are doing more damage because of the lighthouse. It 
particularly like earth damage. I wonder if that's actually like a mechanic there. And Garrett is still stuck. Garrett is just eternally not going anywhere. Uh, let's let's go with a cure well here. Uh, Garrett, you gotta attack, bro. You gotta do something. Um. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna really do something. Uh, let's go with spritz. Give everyone a bit of that. Oh, no effect. You did. You you bit something, but it had no effect. Sure. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh. There we go. How did we lose? Well, it turns out that you just made, like, made- Oh, no! They really need to put hand railings on that, don't they? Have we really won? Yeah, we've won. Even though we couldn't stop them. Eh, it's a technical, technical fact. You beat the bad guys. You saw them fall into the pit. Do you think them fusing and becoming a dragon is kind of uh, a cause of alarm? I wonder what everyone's looking at. Felix, you didn't go anywhere. Did you finish it? Like... Why? How about... Why... Sadly mistaken. All right, all right. No, 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 no! You jerk! Oh, I hate it when they're like, "Ah, oh, you won't understand." Uh, mm, mm, that's a. It's very convenient when we went standing a little bit more to the left. I'm very certain you could, like, use one of your synergy abilities to pick up someone and put them on the other side, and I think two people have that ability. Uh... Shiva! I can't... I can't do it! This is a very precarious situation we have gotten ourselves into. Why is this happening? Yeah. Maybe it's a sign. You shouldn't do this. It's... <laughs> no, you can't... No, there he goes. Oh, dude. Dude. He's got... Oh, he's going in. <laughs> he's going in for it. Hi, Isaac. What's talking? <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I know, right? So he's not as bad. He's just doing the same bad thing. So did we just, like, invent a bad guy just to have another guy warm up to doing the bad guy's interests but then having at least, like, some sense of morality? Is that it? Shouldn't we go find Gemma? Uh, nah, we don't have to. We have an escape, like, magic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Back to normal? Okay. What the heck is ever happening around here? Sure. Cool. Time to find blah. But despite a long and tiring search, Jenna was nowhere to be found. Uh, 
Another search for Shiba turnout. Bad. Got it. So they're not in the sea and they're not on the land, which means, obviously... Obviously, time travel. Come on, guys, you gotta... You gotta think outside the box here. to continue looking for them? Uh, no, we haven't. <laughs> Don't worry about Sheba, we will find Sheba. Okay. <laughs> Absolute miracle. Okay, when the plot literally says coincidental, you know, you know, come on guys. Uh, okay. I guess. So she's not in the deck. Okay, we're just heading off. Yes, I did forget. It's gonna be a work on your memory. Uh, so I mean, I'll just sit here. Okay, yep. Got it. Cool. Lamore. Oh, the Don L word. That's Lamora. Oh, that's the thingy. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's just right here. So we get a boat. Nice. Cool. Sweet. Appreciate it. Uh, is it an invisible boat or is it just a really big boat? Ooh. So I guess I go into my items and use the black orb. There we go. Sweet.
Cool. Nice. It's just the beginning! Oh, don't you do this to me, game. Don't do this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, there's like three plot lines going on right now. I, I'm... <laughs> okay, yep. I think we'll be okay. Yes! Yes! It's the ocean. To the sea! Oh, on they go. The one, the one, like, person who lives in frozen land. Afraid of hopping on the ship. And away they go, I guess. That was it! That was it! Ah, okay. So... I had known ahead of time that this was a, like, effectively a part one game. And the second game, I believe, it takes, like, I think you get a password at the end of this game, depending on, like, what you've done. And so you load the second game with the password and you continue on from there. Like, neat, sure. Uh, when I had originally tried, uh, playing this for the channel, I had intended to play both games back to back. Uh, I didn't really know what was set out for me, but as it turns out, this was under 20 hours, which for JRPGs is definitely on the shorter side. Um, it never got hugely difficult. Like, you saw me do everything that, like, I didn't, I mean, there was one point where I think I had, like, did I actually game over, or did I just kind of go like, yeah, now I'm going to die, and I just kind of like, bailed out? Maybe. But, even like that final boss, like, he didn't really do anything that like, amazingly pressured me. At least I had like a plan, and I just had like a rough strat. Um, so, I guess there's that, uh, that secret dungeon that I never went to. So I guess there is that. Uh... But, yeah, like, uh, I mean, it was pretty okay of a game. I think, yeah, my, my general issue was that it, it seems to lose a little bit of identity. As in, like, it's got, like, a neat kind of element magic world system. I love the idea that, like, the various towns don't really know of each other, so they each invent, like, their own mythos. I like that. Um, but I also feel like... Man, it kind of ends, there's, there's your boy, Bill. Uh, it kind of ends, yeah, like, th that ended at a point where I was like, quick, we need to kind of wrap up a few things, so have the villains fall down a pit, have the side villain now, uh, like, disappear, have someone introduce, like, a, a thread into their own plotline, and then chuck the characters over into new place such that they don't have to encounter this place, which, fair enough, but it's also like, yep, that is 100% like a part one, like, nothing really actually got wrapped up then. Um, when you run out of the budget in there. Exactly. I don't know when the sequel came out as well, but... But I assume, like, they had this idea the entire time. 2002, this came, they came out the next year! That actually 100% seems like they did just run out of budget, didn't they? So save your adventure. Uh, you cannot resume your adventure with this data. Uh, let's do it slightly after that one. And that was it! Oh! Oh! Meow! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
okay. Hi, Hungry. But uh, yeah, no, first release, August 1st, 2001. Second release, uh, is that August 1st uh, Japanese date as well? Uh, it is. The sequel came out. Uh, oh, I, where, I've lost it. Uh, the sequel came out June 28, 2002, so uh, ten and a half months later. So, 100% they did have, like, that second game kind of, like, well in the works already. Um, but I would imagine, like, you wouldn't come out with a game like this and then not have a way of, like, wrapping it up. I believe even though there's three games in the series, I'm not, like, I can't remember at all where the third one, like, fits in, but I don't believe it carried over the mechanics. Sorry, the, um, the, like, the save. So, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, like, take a guess. Did anyone expect them to not live? Wow, they are alive, wow! What happened? Stop playing some roundabout right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'll... I'll leave this a bit on the back burner. I feel like ten, ten weeks, uh, or ten... You know, 10 videos of Golden Sun is probably a lot, but you know what I'm amazed about? The fact that we ended just before I hit two hours on the stream. So that's the game, and I can't continue it. That's the game. Well, with that, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, yeah, no, it's been, it's been good fun. Um, yeah, a little anticlimactic at the end there, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad, yeah, we finished it. Um, maybe I'll do a bonus part just for, like, trying to show off that side thing, but, um, yeah, no. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, if you watched every single stream up to this point, uh, then thank you very much for sticking around and actually witnessing the entire thing. Um, definitely a new thing for me, and I'm glad I managed to actually play it without emulator saves coming all the time, so that's good fun. Um, Take that, 2009-2010 me. Uh, the regular use, this is going up on YouTube later, unless you're watching this on YouTube already, in which case, hello, hi, please subscribe, please follow, the streams are probably going to be at the same time as always. What game will I play next? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. It'll be a mystery. Alright, thank you guys, see you guys next week.